Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to make this easy and beautiful sculpture painting of a red poppy. This video is especially for all my beginner friends who wanted to try doing sculpture painting and this is the perfect tutorial for you because this time we are just going to use one sculpture paste, one palette knife and one ceramic cone to construct this beautiful red poppy sculpture painting and the process itself is also very very easy so go ahead watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video i post every week to make this easy and simple painting we are just going to need three to four important things the first is a sculpture paste so i'm going to use a red velvet sculpture paste from little birdie and a palette knife number 10 from mount martha a green color ceramic cone for making the stems few pollens i have only the golden color so i'm going to use these ones you can use any color as you like and a cute chipboard which says you make me happy and for base, we are going to use an 18 to 10 inch canvas board. And for creating this beautiful look to the base, I am going to use acrylic white, fresh tint and red color. All these materials are linked and listed in the description box below from where you can buy them online. So let's start the video now friends. First of all, we will start by preparing our base for the sculpture painting. And for that, I am going to use acrylic colors. And I am going to use three shades. The first is white fresh tint and red. First of all, using a flat hair brush, I'm going to spread out white acrylic paint in this way. After using white, I'm going to use fresh tint color in just few parts. And then using a red color in your paint brush, mix a lot and a lot of water with it first. This is how the consistency should look. It's quite thin. Then I'm going to sprinkle it in this way on our canvas. I like it this way. And then I'm going to use a spray bottle like this one. Spray some water in the center part and I want it to be like this. If you want to add a little bit of more bombardment, you can just press some color there. If you want to lighten this effect, and give a different look this is how you can do it use a tissue paper crap it very well and then dab it and you get this kind of pattern so this is how it looks and i want it to be like this so now we will let it get dry until that let's start preparing the sculpture paste now I'm going to use a red color sculpture paste for making poppy flowers. So I have already pre-mixed my sculpture paste and this is how it looks. So using my palette knife number 10, I'm going to spread it. Now clean your palette knife from both the sides and from one edge of the palette knife, start scraping the sculpture paste in this way. The bigger petal you want to make scrape a bigger leaf. Now you can see that you have beautifully got a petal shape on the back side in this way. So now just place it like this and cut out the excess. Now clean your palette knife again using a cloth and from the cut side just scoop it in this way and then you can easily lift your petal. This is how your petal should look. Place it on some other place and then do the same from the other side of your palette knife in the same way keep scraping the sculpture paste just in one direction and here you have got a beautiful petal you can see okay put it in this way cut the excess give it a nice shape and you have got your petal you can place this from the right side so in the same way friends, I'm going to make more and more petals. Everything depends on how you scrape the sculpture paste and that will form you a petal. Each time spread your sculpture paste in this way. Then clean your palette knife and start scraping the sculpture paste. Okay, so here you have got it. Now place it 
and then cut the excess. So in the same way for each flower we have to make six petals. Let's keep on doing the same process till we get all the petals. Okay, this is how a small petal looks. Now in the same way, I have made these many petals. So now let's start placing them on our base. So now using a palette knife, I'm going to start placing the petals one by one right on the place. And now I made a black color sculpture paste ball, which I'm going to place at the center. Finally, I'm going to place one in this way. Okay, placed it in this way finally. So let's start placing the next flower petal. I always like to start from the center petal, then move to the next petals. Then I'm going to place the small sculpture ball I made right right here in this way place our next petal as my petals are partially dry so I can easily lift them up using my hands finally using my palette knife I'll make few adjustments and make it all the way like this okay so this is how it should look now I'm going to place my next flower and I'll start by placing the petals first. As my petals are a bit dry than usual, so I have placed some white glue, which will turn transparent when they're dry. Then I want a curved petal right here. So I'll just press it in this way. Now the petals are standing and this is how it looks. So now friends, I'm going to use a few pollens to place in the center surrounding the black sculpture paste. I'm going to use golden color pollens because this is the only ones I have right now. You can use any color according to the center you have placed. So now using scissor, just cut the pollens from right here where you find that golden part. This is like a bit hard so you can directly poke in the pollens. I'm going to use a tweezer and place the pollens right where we need. Firstly I'm going to place few long pollens and using a tweezer I'll directly put them inside in this way. So in the same way, I'm going to put pollens in this flower and this flower also. And now friends, let's start making the stem for the flowers and the buds using a simple ceramic cone. So I'll start from this flower. So this kind of gives a very, very natural look. So now this is how it looks. Let's do some finishing touches. Using a palette knife, I'll simply bring up a little bit of ceramic paste on the sculpture paste. Try to give it a bit natural look. Now friends, after completing it, so beautiful our poppies look and the pollens 
absolutely make it look so 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 beautiful so now i have decided to place a chipboard right in this place which will complete this painting generally red poppies are symbol of war resemblance so i did want it to write i still remember you or i remember you but currently i just have this cut out piece so it says you make me happy and this is how finally it looks you can also color it red if you want or any other color as you like i just wanted to keep it simple now finally this is how beautiful our sculpture painting of red poppy looks when it is finally dry and completed with a cute little chipboard which says you make me happy i have placed it right in front of my mirror wall decor with an indoor plant in the same way you can place it on any working desk table or right in front of your mirror or any space you would like to brighten up so friends do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this painting and if you do like my videos friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching